I really wanted to just mention a few of the things that Rex has funded over the years yeah. that have really turned into things Great. that have really grown. And um, I was I was just checking around on the web because my memory really isn't all that great. But back at the very beginning, when I got on the Rex board, it was Redwood Summer. And I very timidly put in a, uh, asked for a grant for a couple of the groups that were supporting Redwood Summer up in Mendocino County and made that whole scene fly. And I think Mickey took a trip up there too, right. didn't you? And, uh, and and met Julia Butterfly, who was sitting in the tree. Um, you know, we really, and that felt, you know, it felt it felt a little scary to to give money to some of these things that were really <laughs> politically, uh, you know, there, there was there was potentials for conflict. There was potentials for people to get hurt, but we felt like it was really important to support some of that kind of wild stuff. And another grant that we gave early on, at the very beginning of the project, was the Innocence Project. And I just read on the, and it was back a long time ago, that this came across and we, we said, oh, that sounds like a really good idea. Let's get people off death row who are unjustly convicted. And, um, and, uh, and I just read on the web today, they've, they've just gotten their 250th death row prisoner off. And uh, we've done, you know, we've done a few of those, and we've been done a lot of others. And uh, we, we give awards to some musicians. I'm just have to do this. Oh, no. um, no. uh, don't uh, slow down now. We gave a um, a wonderful award to Pete Seeger, uh, who is now in like 91. Uh, back in 2005, I believe it was, and um, that felt really good. And I'm sure he turned it right around to the, to the to the Hudson River Keeper. And we've given grants to the Musical Heritage Foundation, who who has all these records. They collect records. Of seven hundred thousand. Seven gazillion records. Um, we've had, we've given money to Mercy Corps for their work in Afghanistan and various other hot spots around the world, which is actually a pretty big organization for us to give to. But we felt like they had, they had the people on the ground that could really could really use that money in a good way. In the handle on the situation. Yeah. And another group that we funded at the very beginning is now called Rock and Wrap It Up, which is this guy, Sid, who's in New York. And he developed a way of getting various venues and, um, and stadiums to save the leftover food and get it into the, f into the free kitchens and the missions and so on. And that has just snowballed. And now they've got branches all over the country and, and the, the numbers of gazillions of pounds of food that have been saved from landfill, it just keeps going up. And, uh, you know, and, and you know, certain things like that, you know, it, people bring a proposal, it shows potential. You know, it shows potential for volunteer activity and people are gonna accrue. And sometimes it really takes off. And uh, I, I also wanted to mention that we did uh, at one point, after a lot of discussion, we funded uh, Ken Kesey's bus further, and we spotted them a new sound system for the bus, so that they could <laughs> they could keep the reverb going forever. So it's not you know it's not all serious stuff, I have to say, and uh, and you know we, we go we go back and forth, and sometimes it's the jazz masters workshop, and and sometimes it's it's you know, kindergarten programs for buying instruments for schools, and um, we we try to we try to spread the money around. In, in as many interesting and diverse ways that we feel at the time is is necessary and good to do. So it's it's always changing and it's it's really and a lot of fun. We applaud and thank you for that, Mayor Mountain Girl. Paul, did you have a? <laughs>